Heather, you've also been in, in Australia a while preparing for this tournament. Is the main emotion now just one of excitement and kind of being desperate to get going? Definitely. Uh, obviously, a lot more real now the tournament has started. Um, and yeah, just want to get out there, really. Uh, there's a lot of waiting around. We obviously had really good prep out here. Um, we've had some really sort of close games, which are perfect prep from our perspective. Um, and yeah, I think the girls are just really itching to get the tournament going now. Um, get out there at the WACA tomorrow night and uh, yeah, hopefully uh, start very well. What would you say is the biggest thing that you took out of that tri-series um, preceding this tournament? Was it those close games? Was it an element of playing some really good cricket at various points, uh, not necessarily putting it together into one game? What was the biggest takeaway? I think there's a lot of learnings, to be honest. I think we've, we feel like we've really built as a team since the start of that tri-series. I think the bowlers in particular have really got used to conditions and are now really firing, uh, which has been really pleasing from where we were. Probably at the start of the tri-series, weren't quite where we wanted to be to the sort of execution levels we've got now has been brilliant. Um, and yeah, obviously the close games, we won a few really close games, which was quite pleasing that we can get over the line against the, some of the best teams um, in the world. So um, yeah, I think we've learned a lot. We've continued to improve. Um, we've had some success and, and some sort of little levelers as well, which isn't the worst thing. The Wacker, where you play your first game uh, tomorrow, famously one of the quickest pitches in the world. Um, how have you prepared for that? And what will you be looking to do differently, uh, given the pace of the wicket? Yeah, obviously we've got a lot of players that have experienced the whacker a lot. We've got a lot of the girls that have played at the Scorchers, and obviously the new head coach, Lisa, uh, used to coach there, so she, we know conditions inside out. We've obviously had a few days here training. Um, we had training under lights yesterday. We actually played a little bit different, skidded on a little bit more than we we probably did previously. Uh, it was a little bit tennis ball-y when it wasn't dark. Um, but yeah, we've prepared for it in our individual skill sets, really. Bowlers trying to work out the best lengths um, to bowl as individuals and, and obviously batters, our game plan, might be a bit more pace on the ball, but I've always really enjoyed batting at the Wacker. It's a place you get really good value for your shots um, and it's a lovely ground as well. So hopefully it'll be very good tomorrow. How much a role does Lisa Kitely play specifically with regards to the venue in terms of having obviously played a lot of cricket there and coached a lot of cricket there. Um, has she been able to bring some specific expertise? Yeah, she has um, brought a lot in terms of how um, to be successful at the WACA. Um, they don't actually play a lot of games under lights there because of, of um, the time difference. So that's going to be something that's slightly different we're going to have to adapt to and making sure we're communicating that very clearly as a side when we're out on the pitch and, and adapting to the conditions in front of us. We'll obviously get a little bit of a view today with uh, the game there under lights tonight. Uh, but yeah, Lisa's added loads of sort of intel into what works there to be successful. What did you make of uh, the World Cup opening game yesterday between Australia and India? What did you what did you learn from a tournament point of view about that result? It was a great crowd, wasn't it? I, I think it was awesome that um, it kicked off with a, a close game that was obviously an exciting one and one that hopefully will be a sign of things to come with the amount of crowds and the amount of people that were watching. Um, but I think, like we learned losing to Sri Lanka the other day, any any team can beat you on on their day and if you don't turn up for um, a game then international cricket can be a, a good leveller but I think it's going to be a great tournament um, I think it's a, a really good result obviously uh, for in the context of the tournament uh, it shows it's wide open any team can win it uh, T20 can be quite a fickle game um, but obviously we're not worried too much about what's going on in the other group our main job is tomorrow night starting well and, and trying to get out of these group stages Your coach Lisa Cartley said the other day that she thought this would probably be the best World Cup ever in terms of the quality of teams, in terms of people's ability to beat one another. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I hope so. I think there's certainly match winners in every single team. Um, and T20, you only need one or two match winners to, to turn up and they can win you a game of T20 cricket. So, yeah, I think you're right. I think the way it's been sort of publicised and um, the sort of momentum that's got behind the tournament is, is definitely led it to be the best T20 World Cup uh, so far. So, um, yeah, let the, let the cricket commence, I guess. Just finally, last question. Um, I'm hearing talk of a few Barmy Army people in the, in the crowd tomorrow at the WACA. Um, what would your message be to those guys? I guess some vocal support would be required. And separately, what would your message be to the fans at home? Yeah, we were at the uh, opening event the other day and there's a few Barmy Army flags going around, which is brilliant. You, you love that support. Uh, we've got a lot of friends and family coming out as well, so there's going to be a real English contingent, hopefully, at the WACA tomorrow. Um, and obviously, people back home, we'd love for you to, to get behind us. It does really make a difference. Um, Knowing that sort of we're, we're representing England and, and hopefully we can do the country proud and, and play some really good cricket. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.